Does anybody like striped figs? Because that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Particularly a fig called Panache. And it's got really nice stripes to it. You can see they're kind of going away as the fig gets a bit more ripe. I can focus that in there for you guys. You can really tell and see those beautiful, beautiful stripes. So we actually have one down here that because of our our drier weather that we've been getting has actually ripened up really well and hasn't split, which has been an issue with this panache and most of the, uh, realistically, most of the stripe figs don't really perform that well here. There's one of them that's a uh, mutation of Dotato called Regato del Salento. That one seems to perform really well in my humid, rainy climate. Panache, however, does not. It splits very easily. You can see it's actually kind of started to do that here at the bottom. And every fig I've had off of this tree has split so far. Uh, it's a very old tree. I've had it for at least three years. It was supposed to be Martin and Caramata, but indeed it's not. This is a fig, however, Panache, that's extremely hard to beat when caprified and grown in California. And just in general, it's a very tasty fig, even here. The issue is just getting it to ripen correctly. I can't really comment on the productivity. The rain resistance seems good, but the split resistance is horrible. And for that reason, I'm probably not gonna grow this fig again. However, I do have one of these planted in the greenhouse for commercial greenhouse production. And because it's in the greenhouse, we can get ourselves um, covering. It doesn't get hit with the rain. And because it doesn't get hit with the rain, it doesn't split. Um, at least it should split a lot less. So let's try it. Really good fig. Big fan. It's got a great flavor, guys. Really does. Um, a nice berry flavor. It's quite sweet. Um, it's not the most intense berry flavor. I'd say somewhere in the medium range. But it's very complex. And it's different than your standard Adriatic type figs. It's a little different. Um, you know, your green skin, red interior figs can sort of get the rap that they're all similar, but that one's quite different and I really, really like it. So I'm happy that we had some dry weather here to accurately review it. It's worth talking about, worth reviewing, but it's probably not worth growing here unless you have some sort of covering, unfortunately. So, all right guys, I wanna thank you all for watching this video on Panache. We'll talk to you all soon. Uh, if you know someone who's growing figs or wants to grow figs, share this video with them. We've been doing lots of reviews on specific varieties that I really like. Uh, we have a ton of different varieties here. And uh, I'll catch you all soon, all right? Look at that. All right, guys. Take care. See you for tomorrow's video.